I'm gonna be totally honest with you, I'm struggling to accept my new body shape after having two kids. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking to you about how I've felt about my body over the years and how my body image has changed since I've had kids. And this video ties in really well with the Channel Mums body positivity campaign, which is amazing. And I'm gonna leave a link below to the Channel Mum website where you can watch lots and lots and lots of videos with mums talking about how they feel about their post baby bodies. And I'm sure there will be one or two there that you can relate to, or maybe that it's something similar that you're going through. So today I'm gonna to be talking about my feelings and how I feel about my body. I feel like it's important for me to say exactly how I feel about it because I don't think my thoughts are with the majority and I think the majority of people try and go on the mindset that they love their post baby bodies because it created their beautiful human beings which is true and that they're proud of what their bodies have accomplished which they should be but unfortunately that is not how I think the majority of time and I think it's okay to think like that. It doesn't mean that I love my kids any less or that I don't appreciate um, what my body has gone through. It just means that I think differently and that that bothers me more than it bothers most people, I think. And I'm sure that some of you out there will identify with how I think and how I feel. And if you do, make sure to pop a comment below and just engage with me and let me know that I am not alone. So let's go back to the start, sort of my childhood and teenager years. I've always been a little bit insecure about my body. I've always kind of had that niggly thing in my mind that I just wanted it to be better or I've, I wanted to be slimmer or I wanted to change something about my body. And I was a fairly active child and teenager. I did rhythmic gymnastics for about 10 years from the age of eight to 18. And it was kind of like an everyday thing. So it was pretty intense, but I loved it. And it's my passion and I still love it to this day. If, if I could, I, I would continue to do it. So I've always been fairly slim and I don't think I have a tendency to put on weight easily. But if you've seen a rhythmic gymnast, you know that their bodies look a certain way. Well, the majority look a certain way. They're generally very, very slim and slender. And I've always had curves. I have hips, I have bum, I have boobs. And that didn't kind of tie up to what my image of what a rhythmic gymnast should look like. And so I've always wanted my body to be what it can't be. I've always wanted my body to be a different shape. I wanted to be flat chested. I wanted to be very sort of slim and straight and I'm not like that and I can never be like that because my body shape is not like that. I went through a phase where I was very 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 slim. I'd lost a lot of weight and probably not the right way doing some crazy diets and I still didn't like my body so it was nothing to do with being slim. It was the, the fact that I didn't like my body shape basically. And when puberty hit, I grew boobs, which I've always hated. <laughs> I've always hated having big boobs. And I know it's something so desirable to, to a lot of women. And even today, I don't love having big boobs. I just think that they are fine. But I wish I had loved my boobs before I had children because they are now kind of like a sadder version <laughs> of what they were when I was much younger. I used to go to the gym a lot, I had abs, my body was really toned and despite all that I still wanted my body to be different. My body image has never been something that has affected my life in the sense that it's never consumed my thoughts or anything like that but it was always that niggly thought, that niggly thing on the back of my head sort of like I wish that could be better. I wish my boobs were smaller. I wish my hips were smaller. So when I got pregnant with James, my first child, it was 2014, yeah, I had him in 2015. So I got pregnant in 2014. I really, really struggled with my pregnant body image. My average weight in my adult life has always been around about 45 to 50 kilograms and I'm five foot tall, so I'm quite short. So when I got pregnant for the first time, it was a big shock to look at myself in the mirror and see a completely different person. I suddenly had all these areas filling up in my body, my face got bigger, and I also had preeclampsia, which made me feel and look really swollen, so I puffed up a lot. So I really, really struggled with my body image, and it was something that I didn't 
enjoy. I used to hide my bump, hide everything that I could hide, uh, just so that I, I, it wasn't even for other people, but it was just for me so that I looked myself in the mirror and I didn't feel just unhappy with my body. And um, towards the end of the pregnancy, I started to accept it a little bit more, but I didn't accept it for the whole of my first pregnancy that that was how I looked and I didn't like it. I think I had different expectations of what my body was gonna look like when I got pregnant, probably based on unrealistic images on Instagram and magazines and blogs. I wasn't one of the ones that just had a bump and no fat anywhere else. I basically had fat everywhere else and a bump. <laughs> So then I gave birth and I went back to my pre-pregnancy weight within three months. The weight just melted off me. I think some of it was due to breastfeeding and also because it was my first pregnancy, I, was, I am still relatively young. A lot of things I think combined made me go back to my pre-pregnancy weight. But when I looked in the mirror, although I was back to that weight that I was before I got pregnant, my body did not look like what it looked like before I got pregnant. And that was strange and my belly button was all just crinkly, my skin was all saggy, my hips had widened and it hadn't gone back to normal. So there were a lot of changes for me to get used to and the way that I dealt with it was just to hide everything. I didn't use to look myself in the mirror naked, I didn't like walking around in underwear around the house. I didn't want my husband to see me naked or just in underwear. I went to bed wearing clothes, just everything because I just did not want to feel exposed. And that's quite sad, isn't it? It's really sad that I felt like that. And I didn't wear a bikini for the whole of that year and I still haven't worn a bikini um, for about two and a half years now. And it's such a shame that I feel like that. During the first sort of six months of James's life, I was completely neglecting myself because I thought that that's what I had to do as a new mum, first time mum, that everything, all of my efforts should be going to the baby. James was the first priority, then everything else, and then bottom of the line, me. So I, I used to survive off two pieces of toast in the morning, nothing in the afternoon, and then maybe something for dinner, um, and that is no way to live and I see it now and I didn't exercise half of it because I didn't want to and other half because I didn't have time for it or I didn't find it a priority enough to make time for it. So then a year went by, James turned one in 2016 and I got pregnant with Isabella straight away and this time I was adamant that I was going to put a lot of effort into loving my pregnant body, loving my bump, my shape, whatever shape that was was because that could potentially be my last pregnancy. We don't know if we're gonna have a third baby. So I made a lot of effort to love my pregnant body and I did do a lot better. I wasn't, I can't say that I was like full on, oh my God, I love my body, this and that and the other, but I did like my body a lot more in my second pregnancy and I did show off my bump lot, a lot more. So about four and a half months ago, I gave birth to Isabella, which was a wonderful birth and I have a video on that if you want to watch it, I'll leave the link to it below. As soon as I gave birth to Isabella, I thought, right, I'm going to be back to my pre-pregnancy weight in three months because that's what happened last time. but unfortunately that has not happened and I still have a long way to go. My pre-pregnancy weight with James was 49 kilograms and I went back to that within three months. With Isabella my pre-pregnancy weight was 51 kilograms and I am still weighing 56 kilograms at the moment so I've got five five kilograms to lose still, which is a lot. And I know I'm only four and a half months postpartum. It took me nine months to grow Isabella and to have a bump and that should take nine months for me to go back to normal. But I'm only basing it on what it happened to me in my first pregnancy. And the same has not happened second time around. So when I look at myself in the mirror now, what do I see? I see a lot of loose skin, I see a lot of flab, I see a lot of things that don't look like what I thought I'd look like after four months, four months after having a baby. 
I am not exercising but I do look after two children and I work and I am very busy on a daily basis so I'm not idle like a couch potato or anything like that. I'm fairly active, I'm just not sort of doing weights or anything like that and I eat fairly well. This time around I made sure that eating and keeping myself healthy is as big of a priority as looking after my kids. They are still my priority but without me there is no looking after my kids so I've got to look after myself as well. And I know that my body looks the way it looks because it has grown and nurtured and birthed two children in two years which is n nothing short of amazing. I know that that is the reason and that the outcome of my body looking like this is my two precious children but in my mind I still want to feel good about my body. I still want to look at my body and like the way it looks. I want to stop being embarrassed about it when I'm coming out of the shower and my husband sees me in my underwear and he doesn't see my body the way I see it. He thinks I look great, he thinks I look fine and there's nothing wrong with my body but obviously I'm a lot more critical of my body than, than he is and it's not about how he sees it, I want to see my body and like it and I don't think that's going to change even if I lose all the baby weight. So about two weeks ago before the whole body positivity channel mum campaign started I had a different mindset, I looked at my body and I didn't like it and I was very sort of negative about it. But ever since watching all of those body positivity videos and seeing the whole campaign come to life, I started to look at it completely differently. And do you know what? I now love my body. I'm still not comfortable with it, I still want my body to look better, look more, more toned, lose weight but I love my body. I've started to feel more comfortable in my own skin and more confident walking around in my underwear in front of my husband. And what this campaign has made me think about is the fact that I only have one body and this amazing body of mine has gone through a heck of a lot and that I should give it some credit. And that's what I'm doing. I'm looking at my body differently. Now instead of seeing a flabby belly, I look at my belly and I see a squishy belly that my kids love to rest their head on. Instead of seeing saggy boobs, I see breasts that have breastfed two babies. And it's about changing your whole mindset about looking at your body differently and trying to see the positive in everything. I think that's my life motto. I just realized recently that that's what I do with every situation is trying to find the positives in everything. And I've not been doing that to my body. And by doing that, it has changed the way that I see my body. So that is my long and winded ramble about my post baby body and how I've felt about my body over the years. And I would love to know what is your story? How do you feel about your post baby body? How has your body image changed? How has it affected your confidence? Either if you love your post baby body or if you hate it or if you're somewhere in between, just talk to me about it. And let's be kind to ourselves and to our bodies because we have done something amazing. We have brought children into the world and that is in itself a miracle and a blessing. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and I will see you in my next video. Bye!